Geomancy, or working with earth energies, is practiced around the world by ancient civilizations. So in Europe, the Druids, the Celts, the people from South America, uh, Native Americans in North America, and the Chinese all practice some form of geomancy. And basically, it's uh, a science and an art of sensing subtle energies that are in the earth or related to nature in some way. So the shape of mountains, the flow of underground streams, the effects of burial sites, the effects of historical records of any land have a very significant influence over a person's health and well-being and success and creativity. So in modern times, the other factor is EMF, electromagnetic fields from computers, from cell phones, from ACDC transformers. Very often, that is the worst thing in a person's house above and beyond the traditional feng shui. The EMF, the e-smog from electrical appliances, and the underground energies are typically the worst things that affect their health and their success. So if we address these two areas in the course of a site visit for feng shui, then we can really help a person much, much more than just doing the usual traditional things. So for example, if you live in proximity to a place of worship, church or a mosque or a synagogue or a temple, usually there are memorial, memorial services for the dead there. And then spirits will come, ghosts, and even perhaps the departed soul might visit. And if the soul doesn't rise to a higher level after they pass away, they might linger around the church or the burial site or the family home and actually influence people in a negative way. So being able to identify spirits and their intention, their activities, their influence, and the ability to uh, invite them to go somewhere else, to send them away, to have them escorted to a higher dimension, is part of this geomancy. Energetic cleansing is a way to uh, enhance the energy. So above and beyond smudging and burning incense and ringing bells and chanting, using salt as a way to dissipate accumulations of energy records, Tao Geomancy uses very high levels of energy which are acquired through invocation and through connection with the lineage of very high-powered teachers as a way to clear the energetic records very quickly. So one technique we use for clearing underground stress is projecting energy into the ground up to 1,000 meters of depth and maybe several hundred feet in radius and just neutralizing all of the left turning or counterclockwise or degenerative types of energy fields and making them turn clockwise which is figuratively and literally positive life-giving and uplifting so we can literally change the vibration of a place of a room of a building in an hour or two to be like a temple like the highest spiritual temple we've ever been to so this is uh, something which typically cannot be, done, cannot be done by the usual uh, feng shui practitioners who haven't studied this and have acquired this ability. So really, uh, geomancy is working with supernatural energy, supernatural levels of natural energies, and being able to really change energetic fields in a building or on a property or outdoors very, very quickly and also permanently. Well, music therapy is very, very effective. So. Um, some organizations and some teachers recommend playing uh, Vedic chanting or the, the uh, recordings of devotional, inspirational, spiritual music, or even classical music, which is uplifting and light, as a way to disperse uh, energies in the space. But sometimes the energies of the past, of people's activities and thoughts and actions, are imprinted into the wood, especially door jams and anywhere where hardwood is used, or in the kitchen there's a very often marble countertops and stone. Well, st uh, granite is 50% quartz crystal. We all know that quartz crystal will store information more or less indefinitely unless it's cleansed and reprogrammed. So hardwoods and, and stone and areas of the house which are occupied and used by people tend to store imprints of energies. So incense, crystal bowls, uh, Tibetan singing bowls, things like that, music, all these things help. But it, it requires more advanced techniques to do a thorough cleansing where records from hundreds of years can be uh, transformed in a, a short time. 
typically if you move into a new house your own energy will be imprinted in that house after about six months of normal living but if you want to get off to a faster start let's say somebody died in a house or there was a lot of violence the house was used by drug dealers for example then you want to clear that energy immediately before the next occupants move in so it's it's, it's very useful to be able to clear things very quickly